What is STEM? What is STEAM? Will somebody please help? <sighs> Hi, my name is Danielle, and I am the founder of Make Them Mainstream, helping parents and educators teach their daughters about STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Every Wednesday, I post an informational video about an influential female in STEM, and every Thursday, I post an informational video about female STEM education. And today, we are going to be discussing the difference between STEM and STEAM and exactly what they are. Nowadays, there are a lot of acronyms being thrown around when it comes to education, but the two most common are STEM versus STEAM because a lot of schools have now adopted a STEM or STEAM education. So what do they mean? Many parents and educators are so confused about STEM and STEAM and they're confused about the STEM versus STEAM debate. So let's first answer the question, what is STEAM and what is STEM? STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, where STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Mathematics. And the controversy is about whether to use STEM or whether to use STEAM in a classroom environment. In a nutshell, STEM education teaches the scientific method and the engineering design process, where STEAM education teaches the scientific method the engineering design process, and the creative process. And there are a lot of people who are Team STEM, and there are a lot of people who are Team STEAM. So let's first take a look at what Team STEM has to say. A principal of an Illinois middle school says, STEM is connected to everything in our society, and it's good for kids to see that. And I personally believe this with my whole heart. STEM is a way of life, and you're going to hear me say that way more than just this time. All right, let's take Take a little sneak peek into Team STEAM. Those who want to use STEAM say half-brained education, that is an education that heavily favors either left-brained or right-brained subjects, is not good enough. STEAM.edu gives an appropriate definition of STEAM. They define STEAM education as science and technology interpreted through engineering and the arts, all based in mathematical elements. This is just a super, super quick sneak peek into what Team STEM and what Team STEAM have to say. For even more information, click on the link in the description below that says STEAM versus STEM. That will take you to the full article that goes along with this video. Okay, so now I'd like to give you my opinion on the matter. And my opinion is this. Science is philosophy. Technology is ingenuity. Engineering is the practical application of art. Art is fluid and solid mechanics and material science if you want to get technical. And mathematics is creativity in its purest form. I believe that STEM and STEAM are really one and the same. I believe that we're just getting way too caught up in the labels of everything. However, I do understand the need for order and strict definitions when it comes to the education system. And when it comes to the education system, in order to keep things uniform, yes, we do need a definition and we do need a word to choose to use. And I believe that schools should be using STEAM because when it comes to funding, the arts are just getting cut way too much. And I am an artist, and I am a mathematician and an engineer. To me, the things go hand in hand. You can't have engineering without art, and you can't have art without mathematics. All through my primary education, I was an arts kid. I was a semi-professional ballerina. I was on the comedy improv team, the literary magazine, the school newspaper. I did a lot of art stuff. But I also took drafting and construction technology. But those classes were just as creative. Just because a hammer and a computer program were now involved doesn't mean that that takes away from any of the creativity. We cannot have STEM without art in whatever way you choose to define art. And that's why I believe that STEM and STEAM as a teaching philosophy are the same. But I do have a really big problem when people think that STEM isn't creative. And I have a problem when people want to add the A to STEM to make it STEAM just to make it more accessible to females because you don't need art in order to make females feel like they're welcomed in a field. Plus, scientists are not bland and boring people. 
When we play into the stereotypes of what we think someone in STEM should be, what we're really doing is reinforcing those stereotypes and we're taking away from the educational philosophy that is STEM or STEAM. So just a recap on my opinions. I believe that we need STEAM in the schools because we cannot afford to cut the arts. However, I still stand by the fact that I use STEM when I'm talking about make them mainstream because my goal is to have role models and information for parents and educators to use for females in STEM because females are the minority in STEM and not the arts. Ultimately, it's super tricky to define exactly what Team STEM and what Team STEAM believe. In order to create this video and write the full article for Make Them Mainstream, I read eight other articles and the team that won at the end of each article ultimately was up to the author on whatever team they started on. And unfortunately, the authors in those articles, just like me, don't have a solution to this problem because there just isn't enough research right now. These teaching philosophies are still too new. So leave a comment below. Let me know how you feel about these subjects. Are you Team STEAM or are you Team STEM? and explain why you chose the side that you did. If you enjoyed this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. And if you loved this video and wanna learn even more about female STEM education, then I highly recommend that you subscribe to this channel. Like I said, I post a video about influential females in STEM every Wednesday, and every Thursday I post a video about female STEM education. But this is Veda, so I'll see you tomorrow. Also, there is way more information that I have for you on this issue of STEM versus Steam, and it's all in that article in the description below on makethemainstream.com. So if you want to learn even more about this issue, then I highly recommend that you go check out that article. Happy learning!